If somebody lives at the Cathedral Green, they have the most beautiful view. They do. And a fantastic place to live. So there's not a lot of people actually live on the Cathedral Green. Don't they? I don't think so. Right. Well, we don't know. Perhaps, perhaps there are. Right. We'll find out yes, when, we when, when the installation opens. Because I, I think what he's going to do is to do um, a, a high definition or a, be- a good camera, a well lit version of looking out of the window when they've, when they've found a few that they can work with. Right. So we may find a view of the cathedral. OK, well, I, I did have to tell you a few minutes ago that if you were trying to look for this website... Yes. Uh, ..on um, a normal computer... Yeah. ..windows, you'll find it straight away with no problem. But if you have uh, an iPod, which I, an iPad, sorry, which I have in front of me... Yep. ..you have to, you have to uh, type in Blind Ditch. Blind ditch. ditch. To find it. All one word or two words? Two, two words would be a fine. Blind ditch is the artist, isn't he? That's right. That's yeah. the group. That's the group that's doing it. Yes, that's the group that's doing it. It'll come up with the city centre thing and it shows lovely photographs straight away. Yeah, I love that out of my bedroom window. That one's nice. Got a nice rainbow. <laughs> that's looking at the cathedral, believe it or not. So, yes, so it, it depends on which way you go, but it's there. Okay, so blind ditch. Right is another way of finding it. Uh, OK. okay. Mm-hmm. Well, Jodie, I'm going to play, play another track. This is The Hollies. I'm gradually taking you back. You've, you've survived the 70s so far. I know... <laughs> I know... <laughs> I know you're... <laughs> I'm my desperate cup of coffee now. I know you're an 80s person, really. But yes. um, this, this is going back ev- even further. But oh, it's, another, it's another song about windows. Is it? So, okay. si- is it before 1958? No, it's after 1958. Right, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> well, that's a new, a new, a new definition of your scope. <laughs> yeah, you so we'll. That one. All right, we'll try that. Okay. Joe Deeb, how, was that okay for you? Now that sounds like, um, I think it was um, uh, an advert. <laughs> Quite advert. possibly. So that's yeah. how I remember that one. It's yes. Just, looking at Abbey Windows or something. Oh, you yeah. See, I think that was a... Yes, a lot of those we'll songs. We'll have to have a look at, a, look at the old Google department to find out. Find out which ad it came up that's in. That's okay. That's OK. That okay. was... that was the nice short and sweet. Yes. That was... Well, the, yeah, <laughs> two minutes, 23 seconds or something <laughs> was the, the target length for the 60s radio. So that was the Hollies. Right. From Manchester. I'll just mention, for people who don't know, <laughs> for, for people who've just been watching adverts <laughs> for the last 20 or 30 years, uh, you have to mention these things, don't you, I suppose? Yeah, we do, yes. But it, it just suggests to me another question, which is where you think sound fits into it. Because um, if, if you don't have a view out of your window, or as an alternative to a view out of the window... Does sound coming over the radio or whatever source is that? Is that a window? Do pe- and, and what role does that have in in a city? In a city, yeah, um, yeah, this is a difficult one. This one because you know sound comes through your ears, and what you're looking at the window, you're looking through your eyes. So it's two different mediums, isn't it? In the, in the long run. Yes. Hmm. We well. So I have to have a quick think about this one. I might have to uh, okay. go and have another cup of coffee. And, uh, <laughs> OK. I think, I'll so ask I you think, again. I think you can imagine sound. Yeah. So if you have a window, closed window yeah. and you can see the road outside, you can imagine things happening wrong. So that's your imagination. But to actually hear the sound, you have to hear through your ears, I think. Well, you do. Obviously, that's true. Well, only if you've opened the window. <laughs> well, you've heard different sounds. Different sounds. Oh, right. Well, you, you actually, I think, you, well, you hear the sounds inside your house more than the outside. Depends where you are. Yeah. If you're on the high street, then you'll probably hear a lot of the outdoor sounds. But mostly, mostly be buses and cars. But it wouldn't be people talking more. And do you think people who live near the house, ha- I mean, people who live in Princess Hay, or above Princess Hay, do you think they try and shut the sounds out? Well, Princess Hay hasn't got any sounds at all. You've only got people walking past, haven't you? So they're not bothered by that? They're not bothered by that at all. It's very quiet there, isn't it? So, so you, can get a, you can get away from the noise. So that, that's a, a window in its, in, its, uh, in its sense, isn't it? I guess that's right. 
Well, I think there, there, there is... I haven't got their name at the moment, but there's, there's somebody going to be doing some sound for the installation at the museum. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll be able to talk to them at some point, see what they make about sound. Right. But it depends. You see, you take a recorder out and you record a sound, and it sounds much louder than your own ears because it's picked up distant sound as well as near sound. And I think we, hear, we tend to tune into the near, the near sound much more. So the, so the stuff in so, the windows... Oh, so if you're recording it, mm-hmm. you'll find more. There you'll is actually find, more there. Actually, m- much more. And if that pl- if that's played back through the radio, yeah. that you have to listen to it. Yes, well, that, that, would be, that will come up much more than you actually thought. Cause you could, it's like somebody shouting at you in the high street, and you, you can actually switch off <laughs> if you want to. You switch your ears off and not hear it. Oh, right. And you, but you can hear it, or you can't hear it. So we D- have, you can make a have, choice. We have a choice with the on and off switch <laughs> or the dimmer, you see, of what you pick up, you see. It's like you go into a restaurant, cafe place, and yep. you get, you'll get children in the corner, and some, somebody will think that that noise in that corner is so deafening, it's so penetrating, yeah. that it will really annoy them. Another person next door will even really hear it. No. So it's a, it's a choice whether you want to hear it or not. See, where I live, out in the country, yes. we have a road and we have about, I don't know, we have at least ten tractors that go past us every day. <laughs> okay, but they do annoy me because they're, because they're so big things and they're noisy and they vibrate in the house. But maybe because you're thinking, oh no, it's that tractor again, and that's in your mind already. <laughs> yes, it could be. Well, that, that's that when it comes along. Well, that's what I said, that's the on and off switch. Yes. It, somebody could sit there and these things would go past and they just carry on life and that's it. It doesn't want to bother them. So if you moved to Princess Hope, it would be a lot quieter. Oh, it's heaven down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's the. And this coffee shop. <laughs> That's the secret of the city. <laughs> that, that's the city of the centre, yes. But the centre actually is um, it's quite, actually quieter, even if we've got buses going up the high street. Yeah. It's quieter than other conventional cities, you would say. So whether you're inside a building or not, you can shut that out by shutting the door, and the noise will be still there, but it would be sort of like um, a quarter of its strength, should we say. Right. Right. Well, look, I think we should play some music now. Okay. Um, this is um, this is uh, by Joni Mitchell. Yes. 